forgot to put the shirt and the helmet on, didn't I? Oops. Hey y'all, let's try this again. Plastic Commander here. I'm finally back after about, what, a month? Five months? I don't keep track anymore. Time is an irrelevant human construct. But yeah, I'm back and I'm not better than ever. If I'm just being honest. Like, if anything, I'm probably slightly worse. Like, it, it, just to be completely and 100% realistic with y'all. So anyway, if you are on the Discord, you probably thought a collection video was going to come up, but ha, fooled you. I actually <coughs> am dying. Actually, today we're going to be taking a look at the newest Mars set, Ukrainian Defender. So, this set is really, really cool. It's 15 figures in 7 different poses. I think. I can't remember. I drink a lot of alcohol. Anyway, guys, it's good to be back. Glad to be back. And I hope you all enjoy this newest installment of the Plastic Commander. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Another day, another poor financial decision. Although, actually, I would have to argue this is probably one of the better financial decisions I've made. Today, we are looking at the Mars Ukrainian Defender set. And this is an awesome set of soldiers. So, I actually had a viewer ask me a long time ago if they made toy soldiers based off the current... Uh, war in Ukraine, the russo ukraini war is what I like to call it, and um, I was like, no, they haven't had a chance yet, um, but uh, yeah, it also, with how toy companies today kind of stray away from military toys, um, if you haven't noticed, a lot less retailers are selling them, we do have companies like Mars who make high quality figures, really not for small children coming in to save the day. So, if you don't know anything about Mars, turn the box over on the back, and here's what they look like if you were really good at painting. <laughs> I like how they painted this one, like this really seafoam green color, like it's a skin, like he got that after killing six orcs, like he unlocked it. But yeah, really cool. Um, Mars, like I was saying, is actually based in Ukraine. They are a Ukrainian toy soldier company, which is really awesome. So Mars is probably my favorite toy manufacturer or toy soldier manufacturer, I suppose. Their figures are super high quality and for the amount of quality put into them, they're super sturdy. Uh, they are super beautiful. Uh, so of course they have some sets that are kind of misses like the uh, Burger Brigade. But then they have sets like these. So starting from left to right, let's start taking a look at these guys. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that they are just full of life. Just the way they are molded, the stances they're in, just feel so alive. And you can see we got great detailing on the face. And it looks like this guy is using that one submachine gun uh, that was in every video game in 2013, <laughs> including not limited to Black Ops 2. But yeah, lots of detail on the uh, breast piece right here. Uh, the Kevlar chest plate. Of course, the boots. The boots look really good. They all even have knee pads. You know, uh, doesn't matter if it's life or death. Because if you live, you want your legs to not be miserable after all of that marching. So, coming over here, this guy looks like he has a PKM. I believe, don't quote me on that, with an AK-74U slug around his back, which that's a lot of weight, uh, making me very glad I'm not in the military at all. So, again, lots and lots of detail, especially on the gun right here. We got this big old drum magazine, and we got the handle right there, and of course the face looks great. I also really like this backpack right here, it looks very modern. And he even, now that I'm looking at it, he has a pistol right there, ooh, that's even more weight. Uh, this guy better go to a chiropractor. 
after the war is said and done. So you get 15 figures and each one of them is great. Uh, there's eight different molds, as you can see right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's me counting, just double checking myself. That means there's one figure in this set you only get one of. So the others you get duplicates, but you only get one of this guy. And this guy looks like an absolute unit. He has a medium range AR-15 it looks like with a ACOG scope on the top, a night vision set on top of his helmet. He's rocking one of the backpacks I see at the Army Navy store all the time. That's way too expensive. But over here, it looks like he has a rocket launcher on his back, which is super, super dope. And again, lots of detail in the pants. We got a pocket right there. Wearing a chest piece, really, really nice. These figures are super duper nice. In fact, this is probably one of my top five favorite uh, Mars sets that I've gotten, which isn't saying a lot because I only own like 10 or you know, maybe 15. However, still, this is probably one of the nicest sets they produced. It's really nice to see how far they've come as a company because I've looked at some of their uh, other sets that they produced when they were first starting out, and um, a lot of them weren't super great. Uh, so, well, I say a lot of them. There was one <laughs> that was really not very nice. It's kind of renowned in the toy soldier community for not being super great, as you know. <laughs> Burger Brigade. But all of them were still pretty good quality and decent sculpts. But these, this, this is a work of art, if we're being brutally honest. One of the things I love about Mars, got this guy, the Javelin Rocket right here, just real quick. AK-74U. Really nice. But uh, one of the things I love about Mars is that they really, uh, if you just want to, okay, okay, I'll quit fighting you. Um, they have this really outside of the box thinking when it comes to designing figures. Like, look at this guy. Like, look at that. The iconic, revive me, bro, I have a ray gun pose. But, like, no other toy soldier company would ever think of making a figure just laying like this. And you can tell they get lots of inspiration from, like, video games. So, like, just do that right there. Yeah. Definitely Rainbow Six Siege or, of course, newer Call of Duty or even Call of Duty Zombies, like I just made fun of. Like, this is a really unique and cool pose. And a lot of their sets have really unique poses like that. So moving on, we got this guy with a uh, Russian sniper rifle. I think it's a Dragunov. Do not quote me on that. I don't know my firearms super duper well. And he's wearing a hoodie underneath his Kevlar chest piece. Really freaking dope. This guy looks cool as heck. And as far as the quality of the molding goes, the quality on how they stamp these figures out is also really nice. You don't really get a lot of slashing, which what slashing essentially is, is just extra plastic on the figure that didn't get cut off properly by the machine. I think there's one or two that have it. In fact, yep, we got just a little bit right here in the face, although I'll excuse that happily just because I know uh, getting it off the face can be kind of difficult. So, really super high quality. And again, we got this guy right here. Looks like he's sporting the classic Kalishkanov with a grenade launcher underneath. Looks like he's about to pop some grenades into a building or a vehicle or something. And again, we have some slashing right here in the face, but that is no problemo. Really, really nice. And our final figure. Now, let's talk about war crimes. So... Um, we got, of course, a grenade thrower. We always need a grenade thrower and a set of army men. But, um, they decided to give this guy a Molotov cocktail instead. So very, very classic, uh, Eastern European urban warfare right here. Got the Molotov cocktail, and I absolutely love this. It looks like he has a Remington slug around his back. And the quality on that Remington is really, really nice, too. So, 
but these figures are beautiful. I absolutely love them. Um, but definitely, let's move on and talk about whatever I normally talk about next in these videos. <laughs> So as far as functionality goes with these figures, um, we get a lot of it in this set. Pretty much every single guy is firing their weapon. You don't really get a lot of guys who are inactive, are not doing something, which I don't mind at all. In fact, most people prefer sets like these. It would be nice to maybe have an officer like doing a sick pose or something, but again, I really don't mind. I really like every single pose in this set and we get pretty much everything we need. We get a guy who's throwing some kind of projectile like a grenade or something. We get a sniper, we get a small arms guy uh, and we even get a guy with a rocket launcher and a heavy machine gunner, which when it comes to functionality, uh, as far as soldiers firing weapons in your set, these are the ones that you really need. Uh, it would have been nice, however, to maybe get someone like on the back of the box, or I guess the front, who's just kind of like chilling out like this that just looks really cool, like standing there. But again, that's not an issue to me. I think this set has a lot of functionality uh, for what it is. <laughs> And last but not least, let's talk about value. So this set will run you roughly $30, the same as most other uh, Mars sets. I actually bought this from Ukraine because I wanted this set and their other new one, which is the Marines so badly that I went ahead and I just did international shipping. And funnily enough, by the time <laughs> it even got here in the States, uh, one of the vendors that I buy from actually had it in stock. In fact, I think it was Classic Toy Soldiers actually had these and the Marines in stock by the time my package even got over here. So if I was just a little bit more patient, but uh, I'm very confident in saying that I'm probably one of the first people in the community to get this set. Uh, that's why I wanted to get a video out on it now, mostly just to spread the word because I don't think a whole lot of people outside of my Discord especially, join the Discord if you are not on it, know about this set right here. And you really should. This is an amazing set. They go well with your tan soldiers. Um, they're all really nice sculpts. And there's some sculpts in here that we really don't see even from some of our other high quality modeling companies. So definitely put this on your wish list or make this the next set that you pick up like i cannot recommend this enough and i'll also be doing a review on the new marine set the uh, american marines that they made because that set is also really really nice and i really really like it but this set right here definitely pick it up or don't i'm a youtuber not a cop another day another video down in history so anyway guys thanks for watching the video make sure you like and subscribe and also make sure to check out my other videos uh stay tuned for next week i'm going to try to get a collection update up uh i know the last one we did was a year ago i really don't like that video even though it's like my most popular video it has about 35,000 views now which is bananas call me a bucky because that's bananas uh, but I want to do another one uh, that's a little bit more updated and just kind of is better laid out uh, that last collection video I did I really was just like going around just showing off like hey look at all this stuff I got but uh this next one it, I want it to be a little bit more special you know I want it to be um, better yeah, that's really it. Better. But anyway, guys, make sure to check out the subreddit, Plastic Toy Dudes, and also check out our Discord, where we're almost at 60 members, which is crazy. So if you want to talk to me or anyone else who's interested in Toy Army Men or even a couple of other YouTubers who are also on there, definitely click on the link in my channel description. So anyway, guys, I'm the Plastic Commander. Thanks for watching the video. Bye. Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home.